Hi guys, today I'm going to show you some of the little tricks uh, and tips that you can use on a small homestead. These are just the things that make your life a little bit easier, um, make the animals easier to manage, and as we know, if taking care of your animals is pleasant, then you're more likely to enjoy your work and pay better attention. First off, let me just show you um, what we have here. This is our barn. My husband made this for us last year, and it's actually a greenhouse frame. And if you take a look, um, what we did is put the actual greenhouse up and we used the sturdiest cover. I believe it's a 15 year cover. Um, and it has these really great light panels on the top. And they're not clear, but they let the uh, light through beautifully. So if there's any light at all outside, then it definitely makes it into the barn. And the two different colors that you're looking at now, the light colored one, the snow has melted off, and the one that's a little bit more gray is exactly the same, but the snow just hasn't melted off that side yet. Um, okay, so we can take a look, and you can see all of it. This is what we did for the doors. He put one slider on, um, and then just one regular household door. And to be honest with you, the slider works better. The household door in the dead of winter um, does blow open quite often. And I, I'm telling you, we close it tightly. But I think just the snow and the ice buildup, it just makes it really difficult um, to get a good seal, or at least a locking seal in the wintertime. And the slider just works that much better. Even with all the gaps around it, it's still really cozy in here in the um, wintertime which it is kind of still, it's still just March 16th, so. Okay, this is where we store our feed. This, uh, we had a power short here when we had all that ice this year. And, sorry about that. And we um, had this freezer go, so there was nothing wrong with it. It just um, didn't get cold anymore. Bazzy, would you open that? Good. Open it right up. Okay, so this is where we keep our feed. Um, and there's nothing fancy in here, but I can keep my baking soda and the minerals go on the little shelf. And then I keep the feed in here. There's uh, one bag that I'm working out of. The other two are empty because you never throw away a good feed bag. And down on the end, Bazzy, can you hop down? Just pull the bag that Mama has a string in. If you take a look there so we can see. That's where, no, leave it in, sweetie. You just want to show them what's inside. Tip it towards me. There you go. As you can see, it's almost full now of string from the um, hay bales. I really recommend you try to go with the string type on your hay bales instead of the plastic. It seems like the string does break down um, if you get it left in the pasture or what have you, which mysteriously happens here. Um, that seems to break down a little bit better, but nonetheless, any string that you find always gets picked up and put in there. Okay, you can close that up, honey. You can okay. close it up. And this really cuts down on rats, uh, mice, anything, um, because you can't smell it or anything, and it stays perfect even in the summertime. Okay, so over here, looking from this end of the greenhouse slash barn, um, this is where we put our hay. I had him just put up a wall to make it a little sturdier. And if you take a look inside, we have the pallets on the floor. Um, this spring we will be putting down either better pallets or just covering up those gaps because it is treacherous. But there's our hay right there. And in the back, I don't know if you can see all the way in the back, but we do have the tie bar between where the goats stay and here, and that was silly because the goats ripped it open immediately. Um, they do poke their heads through and grab munches off that hay, but if you keep them fed morning and night, they really don't bother it too much. And if they do, it's their hay anyway. So that's kind of cool. There you go. And then on this side, I have two stalls. We don't use them except um, if the goats are kidding or if someone is ill or maybe if I have a new girl come into the herd, I'll use these. Um, we haven't had any of those yet this year. As I said, this barn is less than a year old, but 
you can see what's happening is this one has water in the bottom and that is because where we live it's very wet so now we know that that happened we'll probably do something to raise this up at least another foot there you go and then yeah that's good honey and then in here we haven't used this one either but um we did put the remnants of our christmas tree after the goats ate it all they didn't eat it, you know, once they got down to the hardwood, they just didn't finish eating it. And I stuck it in here so they wouldn't puncture the sides of the greenhouse. Okay, so here is where our goats are. And this is a fence panel. We have about 13 panels to make a big round um, corral outside. But for now, we kind of ran out of ideas and it was getting cold. So we decided to throw this up as a fence or a doorway rather. Um, terrible idea, within three weeks you could no longer open it. So all winter long we had to climb over like my dexterous little son here. And the goats don't mind though, so that works out nicely. Okay, so another little tip I have are the way that we hook these, oh hello Matilda, the way that we hook the buckets. Um, because you have to climb over all the time, it's really important to try to keep the buckets, uh, water and feed buckets handy so I don't have to, you know, make a big effort to get them fed all the time. And what I used was I found these double, let's see if I can get a picture, there you go, heavy double-ended clips. Um, we found these at Tractor Supply and they are awesome. I think I paid, oh, don't put my down, honey. And I think I paid two bucks maybe for each one. I will go back probably and buy another dozen. They are wonderful for keeping the buckets where you can reach them, keep the goats from kicking them over, that kind of thing. And because I'd only purchased three of them, I had a, a need for a fourth one. So I used Jay's, um, my old dog Jay's um, collar for now. It won't stay because that's pretty special to me, but that also works well. So if you want to take a look up close, I just buckled that. Um, and that just holds the, the handle. They're not going to chew on that strap, um, but they will lick it apparently. Make a liar out of me. Anyhow, there you go. And <laughs> hi, Ruby. And this is Ruby. Okay. So the last thing I wanted to show you is this is the loafing area and we've had numerous uh, barns over the years. We've had goats for about 11 years. This barn was actually made with a lot of the same or the, a lot of the important things that have always been on my wish list and one of them was one barn we had when we lived in Montana had a big loafing shed and I found that even though my goats had free access to all parts of the barn they tended to sleep and stay in the loafing shed on their own. So I've kind of adhered to that whenever possible. And we built this open space on the end just so that they could spend most of their time here. It's really worked out well and I think it makes them calmer overall and which lowers their stress, which is what it's all about. Okay, finally, here I have the doorway and both of these panels are actually, you can see the frame for the whole doorway. But because of where we live, um, we were unsure about the severity of the winter. We ended up putting some more of the panel, the UV protected paneling over the doorway and just left one space. It's cut down on the wind. Um, oh my gosh, so much, which has been really nice. Yes, and so the only much. drawback is from that angle, we still get snow blown in right in that corner there. So I wasn't able to utilize this. I wanted to put a hay rack over on this side and make it the eating side, but it just didn't work out that way this year. You know, everything's an experiment. So anyhow, that's fully removable. We'll take that off in a couple of months, maybe less, depending on the weather. Um, but again, we'll keep it stored carefully and put it back up next year because it was in that center beam because it was just really a, a lifesaver for the goats. And let's see, up on the top there, I'm sure my electrically minded husband would want me to point out, that's where we put the charger for the fence. Um, it works beautifully. It's actually off right now because the goats don't go out in the deep snow barely at all. Um, so it hasn't been an issue, but that's nice. And the lighting there, we have one on that end and one on the other end. And I wanted to show you 
that yellow cloth that you see is that microfiber toweling. You can get a whole package of them for like 10 bucks. Um, that is to cut down on the rubbing of, because as you can see how much wind we get, the corners are really high stress areas. So we put um, a protective layer there between the cover and the metal bars. There isn't anything sharp right there, but nonetheless, it, it kind of rocks all the time. So we just wanted to keep it, um, give it a little bit more protection. So let's see, I think that's about it. Sorry, this is so long. And there's our two stalls again. Oh, finally, um, right here is my a milk stand as you can see I'm not using it right now um, it is awesome my husband had it made for me to my specifications but between you and I I appreciate it but a metal milk stand is a very very cold uh, thing to work on my favorite one was the wooden one that I made back in Montana but we didn't bring it with us so um, I love this metal one I'm very appreciative of it but it's difficult when I spend a long time kneeling on it and it's hard for me to set on when I'm snuggled up and milking the girls. It's just really, really cold. It's not so much that it's hard metal, it's just really cold always. So I end up taking off my coat and sitting on my coat. When in the wooden one, I didn't have to do that. So if your husband or wives or yourself are deciding on a milk stand and you could get metal, I would uh, say try for wood. Metal will probably last forever, but wood um, is much more comfortable. So I guess that's it. And thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it and share with your friends. Thanks, guys. Bye.